Welcome to part 6 of Tracing Without Tears. And today we're going to talk about how to trace photos, which I know is what you've all been waiting for. So let's get right to it. When you want to trace a photo to ultimately cut in vinyl, it's a pretty big challenge. First off, a photo has millions of colors, and you have to cut it down to just two. Secondly, you have to get to a detail level that the cutter can handle. Thirdly, you want a design that's feasible to weed. And of course, last, but most important, the image still needs to be recognizable. If you have access to Photoshop, Photoshop Express, or other similar tools, you want to pre-process your photo there to make this process a lot easier. But I'm going to focus on what can be done in Silhouette Studio alone. So let me give you a quick review of what we talked about in the last video, the technical details about the different filters. High Pass, you'll remember, is the Edge and Detail Finder. Low Pass retreats from the edge and has a tendency to smooth the outline. Scale affects the level of detail that you get in your trace. So let's look at how this all works on a real image. We have a photograph here of a familiar object, Coke bottle. So the first trace I'm going to do is just with the defaults, which is using the high pass filter. And to make this easy to see, I'm going to, to give it a black fill and no outline. And there you'll see that it's found the edges on the Coke bottle, just like we would assume. But it's given us an image that's not very attractive and would be difficult to weed because it has a lot of small pieces. So let's try a different strategy. And instead, let's turn off the high pass filter and look at the threshold and just use the defaults there. Okay, we've got a more realistic image, but still not great for cutting in vinyl, not all that attractive, lacking in detail. Let's try one more trace and see if we can get a more attractive image. So I'm going to leave high pass filter on and I'm going to turn on low pass because I know I'm going to want these lines smooth. I'm going to take threshold up to 49. This is normally where, where threshold will work with high pass filter on it kind of tends to burn out past 49. Then I'm going to run high pass filter all the way up to fill in the color because obviously the coat is dark so we want that area to be dark. And then I'm gonna play with this low pass a little bit just to smooth it out to what I think is a good a good level. You want it to maintain the detail but not be too difficult to cut. So let's see how this is going to look. All right, so there's another option. We have almost a woodcut look, kind of artsy. We'll cut nicely, still be recognizable as a Coke bottle. You may prefer one of these other options, but just to show you that by moving around the different settings, you can get many different looks from one image. Most often, we're trying to trace the image of a person, and this provides even more of a challenge. So before we look at this, I want to tell you what kind of photo you need to get a good trace of a person. You want it to be large in size. You want it to be a close-up of your subject's face. You want it to have a clear focus on that face. You want it to have a solid background or a soft focus background. You want it to be grayscale or black and white. You want it to have high contrast across the image, and you want to have it free of any extraneous details. This of course, is, as I said, is the ideal, but it will give you the very best trace that you can have. So let's look at how tracing works on one of these ideal photos. So if we do a high pass trace on our Audrey Hepburn image, you'll see we get lots of detail, but not a very attractive image. So let's try it again with the threshold defaults. And these defaults work nicely because they are calibrated for the ideal photo. Okay, so there you can see you have a very nice image that would look great in vinyl. You may want to turn on the low pass filter so that you can eliminate some of that detail before you would cut it. 
Unfortunately, we very rarely have an ideal photo, and most of the time when you have to do a trace, you get a snapshot from someone and you have to work with what you have. So I want to look at a more realistic example and show you some tricks we can use. So here's a snapshot, and it's at least it's large. And I want to trace the gentleman here who happens to be my husband. And so I have a nice big image, but I have a lot of extraneous details. So I can do some uh, cropping in Silhouette Studio very easily by going to just making a rectangle, going and selecting both, and then going Object Modify Crop. But we still have some problem areas, this, these shadows behind him, and this light fixture up here. And what we would want to do is we would want to either take our eraser tool and begin erasing that background, or take the uh, polygon tool and draw a very detailed shape to crop with. Uh, either of those methods will work. They're time consuming and I have already taken care of this so that we can save time with that, but you will need to remove the background before you can attempt to trace. So having gotten rid of the background, we're going to approach this the same way. If we're doing high pass, We'll want to turn up the threshold. We're looking for some detail. We'll put it on low pass to smooth out the de detail. Maybe turn that down. Play with this to see where we like it. That looks about right. Okay, lots of de detail. Semi-recognizable, not very attractive. You'll notice, for instance, that the hair is missing when you do these outlines and also not very much fun to weed. So we'll try our other threshold method and see if that does any better. Okay, so you'll see that looks nice in his hairline and his eyes, but we've lost his nose and mouth altogether. Neither of those is going to work for us, but what if we were able to combine the two? I'm going to carefully line these up, and I'm using the, in this case, the catch lights in his eyes to try and line that up. Well, that looks a lot better than either of the other options. Okay, when well, I've got that lined up like I want it, I want to select everything. Want to object modify weld, and then object. Well, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to delete some of these little extra speckles that I don't need. Then I'm going to select everything and object make compound path. Now I can still go in here and node edit or erase some of these little extra speckles if I want to. But basically we have a quite usable image that we could cut in vinyl. And we did this by taking advantage of the best features of the high pass filter and the threshold using the low pass to do our smoothing. So I hope this helps you to trace photographs in Silhouette Studio. Thanks for watching.